We've got Lauren Toyota and John Deemer here with me today. They're food bloggers, they're vegan, and John just asked me, um, are you hungry? And I said, you obviously have never met me because I'm always hungry. Yes. Um, Perfect. I'm not a vegan, I'm so far from being okay. a vegan, but you guys are talking about Meatless Monday recipes, and a lot of people who are not vegetarians or vegans, they try to abide by this one one day a week rule. Yeah, yeah it's a good start, right? Yeah, everybody knows that they need to limit their meat consumption, and people are looking for other alternatives, so to have something clever like a mon like Meatless Monday yes. that you know that you're, you know, you've probably got a bunch Just of... Just cut back. Yeah, exactly, and it gives you kind of an excuse. So we have... Uh, some options for Monday for people to uh, to try and get started. This is gorgeous. We're gonna make a sandwich. This is an edamame. Edamame mm -hmm. mash sandwich. It doesn't look sandwich. like spring. Like spring's it here does. now, guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> and you know, I, I followed you. Start, I started to follow you on Instagram, mm -hmm. both of you. And the photos of the food are gorgeous. Hey. We try. And what I told you before, during the break is that if somebody cooked for me like this yeah. every day, I could <laughs> we, definitely go. We vegan. hear that all the time. But yeah, well, it's, it looks beautiful because you have to eat with your eyes first, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, you yeah. We're trying to basically convince you that a veggie sandwich. Some people think veggie sandwiches can't be sort of meaty mm -hmm. and yes. hearty, but the edamame is a real really good uh, medium for that. It has a bite to it. We've injected a lot of flavor mm -hmm. and... Yeah. Let's, before we make it, mm -hmm. let, let's tell people what edamames are just in case they don't know. Yeah, yeah. it's whole soybeans and mm -hmm. we recommend buying organic, which are non-GMO soybeans, yeah. especially soy. Um, and people just kind of throw those in soups or salads, but I think the edamame mash is a good way of repurposing this ingredient that you might be reluctant to use and kind of transform it. Okay. People yeah. are typically probably used to seeing it in the pods, like yeah. at sushi restaurants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Sprinkled with sea salt, so this is just uh, out of the shell. You can buy them like that. You yeah. can buy them already oh, out of the shell. Awesome. So, yeah. so you put that in the food processor? Yeah. Along with some fresh herbs, we've got cilantro, mint, mm -hmm. and dill. Um, a little bit of vegan mayonnaise, which is just made out of um, cold-pressed vegetable oils, mm -hmm. lime juice, salt, pepper, garlic, and a little bit of ground mustard. I'm always impressed. I feel like it's called, it should be called vegan magic, where you guys yes. can take things <laughs> and make it look like mayonnaise, make it look like meat, and well, make it look like this is sort of like it looks like an egg sandwich to yeah, me. Yeah, you're not. You're really not missing anything. Mm. It's just changing your way of thinking, and so yeah. that's why Meatless Monday is a good kind of gimmick to get you thinking that way. Okay, yeah. let's let's make one. Yes, okay, so and we like pumpernickel bread. So as good as it, as it looks. All right, so why don't you put some mayonnaise on both sides of the bread. Okay. How about for people who are wanting to, to, to start this diet as a, as a means to lose weight, for example. Are you are you eating less calories when, uh, when you're going vegan? Typically, yes. Like, we're not calorie counters, but we do yeah. find that if you have a little bit of weight, uh, or, I mean, even if you're overweight and you just start eating this kind of diet, you'll just kind of naturally see some of it come off because you're eating a lot leaner, you're eating whole plant foods, you're mm. eating fiber, you're yes. eating a lot of nutrients, um, so you're gonna be fuller with less food. Now, I made this joke um, during the break that the only thing that scares me about vegan food is that it feels like it could be really gassy. Like you're eating like it's just a lot okay, of beans wait a sec. Isn't and a lot meat of gassy. Uh, very, whoa! Said, throw down. I throw said down. people okay. who eat meat like don't you have a lot of they, yeah. they complain about that indigestion and all these things okay, right? So, so the edamame mash I like making big <laughs> I like making big stacks. She's just like no no gas okay yeah. big stack big stack sandwich plus your body adjusts Everybody to something has like gas. yeah it's true <laughs> yes. different all right okay. okay I just it was just a concern. Okay. Now this is really great. We just took red cabbage and a pre-bought sauerkraut and mm -hmm. mix them together to make it a really nice pink color, but sauerkraut's really awesome. good for you. It's good for your gut. Uh, uh -huh. It puts good bacteria in yes. your gut. Yeah, and so this is tangy and tasty on there. Do you want to cut a tomato? I Quick, will cut a some tomato. tomato slices. Was it hard for you guys? Were you obviously you weren't always always vegans? Was it? No, she's she's been vegan longer than I have. But mm -hmm. for me, it was just like I really like good food, and yeah. like you said, if if somebody cooked this way for me yes. all the time, I'd have no problem. So for us, it just kind of became a fun, a fun little challenge of like challenging ourselves to make yeah. really cool, awesome tasting dishes. So now, is this a case of we should tell people you're a couple? We are a couple. Is yeah. this is this a case of like oh my girlfriend's vegan, so I guess I have to go vegan too? I mean, initially, <laughs> you know how important yeah. you know how important eating out with yes. like your your significant other is going to restaurants, cooking together. That's important. So mm -hmm. if you're if you're not eating the same thing, that's like a huge part of everybody's day. Okay, that am I doing? This? I feel yeah, like I'm butchering the tomato. Okay. Yeah, I'm ruining. I'm <laughs> ruining the beauty of your sandwich. Get a close up. So yes. No. No. Okay. That's that's. Do good. you ever run out of ideas for, for? Because I feel like with with a vegan diet, there are only a few ingredients. I mean, that might be another misconception. Well, you know what? We started doing uh, meatless Monday contributions for Food Network. Uh, 
foodnetwork.ca. So we're the only vegan food bloggers on Food Network Canada mm -hmm. uh, contributing, and we're like, this is challenging for us, and this is going to make us step up our game. So we're making these amazing substitutes for things like scallops and crab cakes and whatnot. Okay. So that's yeah. very cool. So you can find all of the recipes and the ideas on foodnetwork.ca. Yeah. And if you love Instagram, you should definitely follow them. What's your handle? At Hot for Food. Uh, I'm at Hot That's for Food. That's yeah. yeah. Hot yeah. for Food, yeah. because the the the, uh, the the photos are gorgeous, and it might Thank just con you. convince you to go vegan. Lauren Toyota and John Deemer, food bloggers, Hot for Food. For the food network .ca. Oh, Thank you so much. Okay. You're gonna have to take a, you want to bite of this one? This yeah, this one's well, this one's with. easier for TV. Oh, this is a TV say. Okay, Love let's it. see. Eating on TV. Yes. That is good. <laughs> that is good.